drunk, but at least I'm alive. Maybe I do like the Gaga song. Can't decide. What are you looking at? So I got to chat to Liam Gartland, a third year musical theatre student at GSA, to find out what it's been like for him and other students who are graduating this year, and what it's been like to take online classes as part of their final term. And we also spoke about UK Grad 2020 Fringe Festival, an initiative that he has set up as a platform for any students graduating this year. Let's go back, let's talk about you first, because I'm really interested to like find out what it's like to go into Sasha Regan's HMS Pinafore. Yeah. I was meant to just like leave early um, from GSA and then um, obviously all this happened. So now I'm back at GSA because we're doing um, like audio versions of our final musical. I think online training has taken its toll on kind of a lot of the students who are currently at Drown School and as graduates because it's you're constantly watching yourself. I think to go from, you know, being at drama school um, five days a week to then not actually doing anything to do with performing unless you have an audition can be quite hard. Yeah. And I think that was where I was like, what can I do? So you came up with the idea, UK Grad 2020 Fringe Festival. It's a way of sharing what we are, you know, helping each other out and sharing what we've got. So I got to chat so to Liam Gartland, a um, third year musical theatre student at GSA, to find out um, what it's been like for him and other students who are graduating me. this um, year, and what it's been like to take online classes as part of their final term. Oh, the farmer's brought the sheep back. Hello. Look at them all come. It's the gorgeous Kane Oliver Parry's birthday. Happy birthday, buddy. Here is the interview I did with him last February 2019. He's hilarious. How was that? <laughs> Good. I was the weird bat boy. And then Cam Shaw. Did you actually over. make that noise? Yeah. It's on the fin folds, the, apparently. Sound effect. <laughs> like that. <laughs> I don't even think it's a bat. <laughs> it's a pterodactyl. <laughs> So, tell me about you. Wicked. I've still got it. I turned and there was 5,000 people just staring at me. I thought, wow. Because oh, you're oh, a serious yeah. actor, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Never tried to put her off. No. <laughs> I bet he must have hated you. Yeah, he did. <laughs> well, actually, they asked to see me for a brother. And I said, no. Have you got any dad roles? <laughs> <laughs> Where did you see it? I didn't see you, don't we? I saw Joel when he went on. <laughs> That's all right. No, non-taken. Non-taken. I was in that one. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd seen it now. Oh, thanks a lot for coming. Happy birthday to Nicholas McLean. Here is an interview that I did with him while he was on tour in Avenue Q before he got wicked. So, do I look at you? Do I look at the camera? Mr. McLean, I'm not Scottish. What's your name again? Cool. Am I funny? Am I not? I mean, we know that you're not. Oh, this one's for the children. This one is not for the children. Well, if you've not heard about it, where have you been? Would be the first thing I'd say. Oh, oh yeah, I'm filthy. Absolutely <laughs> filthy. I did um, the Astonishing Time... To, Chris, to Timothy Cratchit. Astonishing Times of Timothy... Yeah. I just, <laughs> What did, was it called again? I did the... <laughs> Can't I say the word astonishing? Am I making history? Could be. Possibly. How does it feel? I don't know. I heard you wanted to be the first male alphabet. Has Sadiga evil wine? I can't dance. Oh god, oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, I did retire. Oh, I've got that. Head of all So Nick, we are disappointed that you didn't get a puppet. I really like being able to use my arms. I can't walk and talk and move my hand at the same time. Yes, when you've got it, flaunt it, hun. Thanks. <laughs> that's Nick's motto there. My phone ring. Oh, babe! I'm chicken recording like out of a wine glass that's how classy i am just sat enjoying the sun <laughs> look who's here it's me um yeah i'm all right i was supposed to watch um tina's 
reading of Little Women at seven o'clock and I completely missed it. Um, and it was a Zoom call, so they wouldn't let me log in afterwards. So I uh, hope it went well. Little poorly lamb. He's not. I think he's dead. Oh, just found a dead lamb. I'm literally so upset. Like all his little friends have come round. I mean, it should have a social distancing funeral, to be fair, but. These are noisy little buggers. Hello. Don't even know what they are. Hey, bitch, how are you doing? I just thought I'd check in on you. You're still eating all those Jaffa cakes. Hey, gorgeous. Just thought I'd uh, check in on you, see how you're doing. Missing you. You all right? So my mum's fallen asleep in the, in the sun. I'm tempted to just leave her there. I mean, she'll be burnt to a crisp by the end of the day, but quite funny. Um, I don't know if you can see, there's my dad mowing the lawn. <laughs> I'm having a nice lolly and a grand old time. It is Emma Salvo's birthday. Happy birthday, babe. If you didn't see the interview that I did with her, it is on my YouTube channel. She is hilarious. Here's a little snippet. And it's also Molly Lynch's birthday today. She's beautiful. And from Ireland. Here are a collection of all the interviews that I've done with her. Hello. <laughs> Ali Bowen's gonna kiss me. Oh my God. Like, reporting backstage of blog. Can I just take yeah, this with me? Yeah. No, too far. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, who am I? Oh. Who am I? What? How are you? I didn't even have my book list because I didn't think I would ever be able to do it. So it's like a surprise book list part. Why have I been here? I've been like, oh God, I don't understand what's going on. Like, she's not, she's going to screw it all up. I was like, what does she do here? I actually have no idea because I'm being a prostitute on the other side of stage. How do you have you told us on press night? Like, you and me chatting yeah. on press night and stuff like that. Listen, in a few weeks, you're going to be on FaceTime because there's going to be a global pandemic and no one will be doing shows. Like, we would have laughed. <laughs> I'm a prostitute in the opening scene there with my cigarette, like, hello kids. <laughs> this is the new dance move that the kids are doing. I, think I made a lot of children cry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh my god, you actually can. So I think, oh my god, that means thing. Like, I'm finding my light. It's like, global pandemic, where's my light? Where's my light? <laughs> And if you saw her in the light in the piazza, here is a gender swap version of the song Love To Me, originally performed by Rob Houchin. I think she does a better version. See the horses today. Um.